Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can use WebAlert Android app to track websites and get notifications whenever a numeric value from their content changes to something that you are looking for. As an example, in this tutorial I will set up an alert which will notify me whenever the price of Samsung Galaxy S6 smartphone will drop under £560. Currently it's £559 so we should see our alert triggering. First of all, you can download WebAlert from Google Play. In the description of this video, you can find the link to the download page. This is the home screen of the app. As you can see, I already added some alerts which I use. You can add as many alerts as you want. To create a new alert, you have to press the new button. This is the edit alert screen. It contains a lot of options which you can use, but you don't have to use them all. Each field has a label containing a short description of its functionality. If you click on any label, you will get some helpful information about that field. For example, if I press here, I will get more information about this selector field. The first thing that we have to do is to enter the name of our alert. Let's call it Galaxy S6. Next, we have to enter the website address that we want to track. In our case, it's Samsung Web Store. Next, we must choose what part of the web page we want to track. We can select only a small section of the web page with this selector field. This works exactly like a jQuery selector. You can use HTML tags, classes, IDs, attributes to select only a small section of the web page. In the Web Alert Documentation web page, you can find the full syntax of this selector field. In the description of this video, you can find the link to this web page. You can also access the Web Alert Documentation web page directly from the application if you click on the selector label and then go to selector documentation. But let's see this in action. Let's go back to the website. My goal now is to see how they are building the price of the phone. Right now I'm in Google Chrome browser. So if I right click on the price and inspect element, I can see that they are using the ID promotion price for the price. So this is enough for me. I use promotion price ID as a selector just like I would do in jQuery. Next, I have to tell the app to interpret the selection as a number. I want the app to trigger the alert whenever the price is smaller or equal to 560. So I should choose the operation from this field. In the operation value, I enter my threshold for the price, 560. Next, I want to check if my alert is set up properly. So if I scroll down, I can press check current value and the alert will give me the current value of the selection. The red color of the element index tells me that the current value of the element is not matching my condition. But it should. I just said that I want the alert to be triggered whenever the price goes under 560. And it is. The problem is with the pound sign. You cannot convert pound 559 to a number. So what I need to do is to remove this pound sign from my element. This I can do very easily. If I go to the options and then advanced view, I get a search and replace option. The big advantage is that this search and replace works with regular expressions. So I can build a search and replace based on a regular expression and remove the pound sign dot which should match the pound sign then a group containing anything and I want this matching search to be replaced with the first group so I just put here dollar one if you are familiar with regular expressions then this should be clear to you if not you can find the YouTube tutorial in the description of this video which should be a great starting point for you to learn more about regular expressions Let's check now the current value. So there is a match now. The green color of the element index tells me that it found a match with the value 559. The only thing that I want to change now is the frequency with which the app should check the website. So let's make it one minute. And now I just click save and the alert is saved. In the main screen, the alert is listed. I will pause this video for one minute to show you how the notifications looks like. 
This is the notification that you will get. If you go to the notification bar, you will get some information that Galaxy S6 Alert found a match and if you click on it, it will open directly the website. That's it, thanks for watching. If you want to see how you can set up an alert based on some text from a web page, click on the text alert tutorial. If you want to see how you can set up an alert for the concert date of your favorite band, click on the date alert tutorial.